Well, good evening everyone. I'm Katie Moore. Karen Swenson is working remotely tonight. Louisiana has experienced another huge day to day increase in total confirmed coronavirus cases and deaths. Let's take a look at the numbers for today. The State Department of Health released these this afternoon. 65 people in Louisiana died from COVID-19. That's 19 more than yesterday. Also, the total number of confirmed cases is 1,795. 48 of 64 parishes are reporting cases now. And just minutes ago, New Orleans city leaders said they're working to set up a facility to handle 3000 coronavirus patients if, as expected, area hospitals are overwhelmed. City Health Director Jennifer Avegno says the city remains very concerned about the number of known coronavirus cases here in the city, 827 so far, and the number of deaths, 37. Compared with other counties around the country, what we know is that we have one of the highest infection rates um, behind several counties in New York City and a handful of others. To be clear, that's partially because we are doing a great amount of testing, more per person than most other states, and that is, that is a positive development. Dr. Avegno stressed that residents must continue to stay home for now, and she is happy that a lot of people are listening. Mayor Cantrell says the plan is to use the Morial Convention Center to house thousands of COVID-19 patients whenever area hospitals see a surge. Paul Dudley is at the convention center with the details. In an afternoon press conference, Governor Edwards did say that he is strongly considering the convention center and several other locations as we start to see more and more of these COVID-19 cases. Now, Edwards has been predicting for some time now that we will see more cases and that hospitals likely could become overwhelmed, and that's why he's exploring a number of different options to house these patients. Now, we did speak with convention center officials earlier this afternoon, and they did confirm with us that state officials have already conducted a walkthrough of the property. Now, as we mentioned, Edwards did talk about this in his afternoon press conference. Here's exactly what he had to say. When a patient is sufficiently recovered and no longer needs to be in an acute care bed or an ICU bed, that we have another place where they can go. That frees that bed up, makes it available to someone who does need that level of services. And so we have some strategies that we are looking at that we're going to make an announcement on very, very soon. Now, in the wake of Hurricane Katrina in 2005, thousands of people who had already been evacuated to the Superdome were then evacuated to the convention center. The lens reports that convention center officials don't think this will be as bad as Hurricane Katrina, but they do want to be here to help. That is the story reporting outside the convention center. I'm Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News, back to you.